Hi, math friends. Welcome back. We are back in school. We've been in school for a few days now. We are on lesson four of unit or module three, and we have been measuring things. Now, before we get started on this lesson, um, it's going to tell you that we're going to be using centimeter cubes today, and she'll show you those in our video too. But I want you to see something before we get started. Now, I know that probably most of you don't have these at home. If you do, that's awesome. If you don't, it's okay, because I'm gonna show you how to make your own, okay? So what you're gonna need is a normal, regular piece of notebook paper. Hold on just a second, let me grab one. Okay, it's a good old fashioned piece of notebook paper, okay? Now, each one of these centimeter cubes, when you line it up to a piece of paper, it's the same length. So what I want you to do is I want you to take a piece of notebook paper. And what I did is I just cut down like this line. I just cut down it. And what I did is I colored each line a different color so I could see. Because each line is one centimeter cube, okay? So if I line these up with my paper, it would match each one. So if you don't have centimeter cubes, but you have piece of paper, then you now have centimeter cubes. Now, I didn't cut each one of these up. You can cut them up if you want to and make each one. It's up to you. If you want to leave it like that, you can do that too. Okay. So instead of using these, you can use these. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with our lesson today. And I will show you what we're going to do. Now, if you want to, can't move my, there we go. If you want to pause the video and make yourself some centimeter strips of paper real quick, then you can do that. And then just hit play when you're, whenever you're ready, okay? All right, in lesson four, I can express the length of an object using centimeter cubes or strips, <laughs> they're little centimeter strips, as length units, okay? So we're gonna be measuring stuff today using our, centimeter cube, or in our case, our centimeter strip, okay? All right, so let's look. We're actually gonna skip the fluency part today, and we're gonna go straight into our application problem. Oh boy, let's look and see what we got today. Okay, so we're gonna need, we'll need my detective hat, because you know, all about being a detective when it comes to word problems. So here we go. What does a good detective do? We read through the entire problem. Then we go back and look for clues. That way we can figure out how we're gonna solve this, okay? So let's do this. Here we go. Application problem. Joe ran a string from his room to his sister's room to measure the distance between them. When he tried to use the same string to measure the distance from his room to his brother's room, the string didn't match. Which room was closer to Joe's room, his sister's or his brother's? Okay, so what is it wanting us to solve? Okay, what was the question it asked us? Which room was closer to Joe's room, his sister or his brother's? So I'm gonna underline that. And that way we know this is what we're solving for, okay? So now we can go back and we can look for our clues because we're detectives and we have to find information to help us solve the question. So let's go back and reread it and see if we can find some clues. Joe ran a string from his room to his sister's room to measure the distance between them. So let's do this. I'm gonna put Joe in the middle, I'm gonna put his sister on one side of the box and I'm gonna put his brother on this side. Okay, so if I take a piece of string and I, oops, there we go. If I take my string and I'm gonna measure it from Joe to his sister, okay? There's my string. When he used this same string 
to measure the distance from his brother's room, the string didn't reach. So if I, whoops, let's get rid of that. Maybe, I'm trying to get rid of it. There we go. Okay, so if I take this string, see if I can pull it, and bring it over here and measure it from this side of Joe, it didn't reach his brother's room. So whose room was closer to Joe's room? Was it his sister or his brother? So here's where I can look and see. Take this string and that string ran, if I can pull it up again, it ran from Joe's room to his sister's room. See how right there, Joe to his sister it touches. But if I bring it over here and I touch Joe and I try to get his brother's room, it doesn't reach. So whose room was closer? room his sister's room is closer because the string could reach see the string reaches here but it doesn't reach here so that means his brother's room was further away. so whose room was closer to joe's room his sister's room so did we answer our question today yeah did we have to solve any problems like math problems like adding or subtracting no we actually used some measuring didn't we yeah so Let's get ready and look at our lesson today. Because again, we're going to be measuring with different types of things today. This time is our centimeter strips or cubes. Okay, so let me get us ready, and then we'll start. Whoops, and then we'll start working. Okay. Okay, so we are working with Miss Curry today. Again, if you haven't already made yourself some little strips to help us with our measurement today. You can pause our video before we start with Miss Curry and make yourself some. Um, you probably wanna do more than I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I only did nine. So you probably wanna do a lot more than I did because you're gonna be measuring things that are a lot longer, okay? So let me get our video up. Make sure our volume is all the way up so you can hear it and make our screen bigger. Here we go, and here we go. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hi, Ms. Curry. Curry. I'm happy to see you today. We're going to be measuring the lengths of different objects. For today's lesson, it will be helpful if you have centimeter cubes. You might have cubes at home that look like this. These are linking cubes. You might also have cubes at home that look like this. These are centimeter cubes. These are the ones we're going to use today. If you have them, push pause and go get them now. If not, no worries. You can participate by following along in the video. You can also use the ones you make up out of paper. Check out this new crayon. Now, if you have a new crown, you can get a crown out and measure it with her, okay? It's fresh out of the box. How might we measure the length of the crayon? The length just means how long it is. You think we could maybe stack our cubes up on top of each other to measure we them? We could use string. We could also use a ruler. Very good ideas. Let's measure the crayon in centimeter cubes. The great thing about centimeter cubes is that they're all the same size. So we can put them next to each other all the way up the crayon to say how many centimeter cubes long the crayon is. Watch as I measure the length of the crayon. Since the top of the crayon reaches this last cube, I can say that it is 10 centimeter cubes long. Am I right? No. What? I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. What mistake did I make? Is the crayon really 10 centimeters long? It's too long, isn't it? You are good. I have this extra cube right 
that's hanging down below the crayon. Can't have so that. I need to remember when measuring to line up my endpoints so that I start measuring right at the edge of my object. Let me try this again. This time I'll be sure to line up my end point. We've talked about endpoints. It's important to keep them at the same starting point so that you can measure them correctly. How am I doing so far? So far, so good, Miss Curry. Hi. There we go, that's better. Sorry guys, let's try this again. Okay. What? She didn't do that one I right either. Another mistake? Yes, she did. What mistake did I make? Are they all stacked on top of each other? Oh, you're right. She's there got are gaps. gaps in between my cubes and there are no gaps in my crayon. That means that there's parts of the crayon that aren't being measured right now. I need to make sure when measuring that I line up my endpoints and that there are no gaps. Can I try again? Yeah. We gotta fix our mistakes, right? I was right, really Ms. careful Curry. to line up my endpoints and have no gaps between my cubes. Huh? What? Another mistake? What mistake did I make? They're overlapping each other. They can't overlap each other. They've got to stack on top of each other. I have cubes that are overlapping. Notice this one here is overlapping. So I'm actually measuring parts of the crayon more than once. That is not going to give me answer. Mm -mm. Well, I'm going to try one more time. And this time I'm going to be careful to line up my endpoints, have no gaps, and no overlaps. Those are the three things we need to be really careful about when measuring with centimeter cubes. Watch to see how many centimeter cubes long the crayon is. Did I lay the centimeter cubes out correctly? Yes, she did. Give me a thumbs up if I lined up my endpoints. Did I make sure there were no gaps? Yep. Did I make sure there were no overlapping cubes? She did. So I measured this correctly. Take a moment to find out how many centimeter cubes long my crayon is. So let's count them. Here we go. You have one, How many? two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine eight, centimeter nine. cubes long. And we know that because there are five white and four blue. And five and four make nine. nine. Every centimeter cube is exactly the same size. So we can use them as length units or units that we use measure length, how long something is. Next, we'll try measuring a fresh new pencil using our new length unit, centimeter cubes. Okay, now if you have a brand new pencil, then you can measure too. I've got one that's not been sharpened and I could measure with either my centimeter cubes because I do have them, or I could use my paper strip that I did make, but again, I didn't make one long enough. So like I told you, make sure you make lot, okay? And if not, you can just watch with Miss Karina. Can you say centimeter cubes? Centimeter cubes. Here is the crayon we just measured. And here is our fresh new pencil. Do you think it will take more or fewer of this new length unit, the centimeter cube, to measure the pencil? I think it's going to take more. Look how much bigger the pencil is. It will take more centimeter cubes because the pencil is longer. How long is the pencil? 
we're going to practice our new measuring skills. Do you remember the three things we need to keep in mind as we measure this pencil? We have to if you do, say them out loud to me now. Line up our endpoints, no gaps, and no overlap. We need to line up the endpoints, make sure there are no gaps, and make sure that there are no overlapping cubes. Can we do that? Yeah. This. Let's measure precisely using centimeter cubes to find out the length of this pencil. You can use your paper if you need to. Make sure you have it lined up with your endpoints if you use your paper. Remember, yours is going to be a lot longer than mine. Did I line up the endpoints? She did. See? Did I make sure there are no gaps? No gaps that I see. Did I make sure that no cubes were overlapping? I don't see any that are overlapping each other. Then that means I measured correctly. I'm going to give you a moment to find out how many centimeter cubes long the pencil is. Okay, I'm gonna pause for a second because look, we can say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Or I could go 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Got to be careful, make sure there really are five there, okay? See, this one. How long have four. is our pencil? We said 19 centimeters long. I can see that there are five. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 centimeter cubes. So we can say that this pencil is 19 centimeter cubes long. Wow, that's much longer than the crayon. If you have centimeter cubes at home, I'm going to encourage you to find objects and measure them. Or it's you can use fun. your little paper. But remember, if you're going to say something is a certain amount of centimeter cubes long, you must be using centimeter cubes. It wouldn't make sense to measure something in linking cubes and then say it was six centimeter cubes long. Because six centimeter cubes is not equal to six linking cubes. Look how cubes. much smaller the centimeter cubes are than linking cubes. There are many companies that make linking cubes and they're not all exactly the same size. The great thing about centimeter cubes is that no matter same. what company makes it or where you get them, if they are centimeter cubes, no are the they same are size. exactly the same size. So we can be sure that our measurements are correct. Your must do problems are number 11 and 12. And if you have centimeter cubes at home, try any of the other problems. They're really fun. I've had a great time with you today measuring with our new length unit center cubes. I'll see you real soon. Bye. Bye, Miss Curry. Bye. All right, let's get out of this and go to our problem set. Okay, now, like she said, if you have centimeter cubes at home, then you can use it to measure these and try these out if you want. If you made your centimeter strip of paper, you could even hold it up to the screen and you can say, well, that pencil is three centimeter cubes long. Okay, if you wanna try it, go ahead and try it. But you only have to do number 11 and number 12. Okay, so let's look at number 11 and number 12. It says circle the picture that shows the correct way to measure. Remember, you have to line up your endpoints no gaps in your, your centimeter cubes, and none that are overlapping, okay? So look at picture A and picture B. Which one shows the correct measurement? You're going to circle your correct answer, okay? Now, on number 12, it says, how would you fix the picture that shows an incorrect measurement? So you're gonna tell me, how would you fix the wrong one, okay? So you can tell me, that maybe I need to add another centimeter cube, or maybe I need to take one away, or maybe I need to line up my endpoints, or maybe I need to have no gaps, 
or no, you, you tell me how to fix it, okay? So in number 11, you're gonna circle the one that shows the correct way. Which one is that gonna be? And then you're gonna tell me on number 12 how to fix the one that's not correct, okay? Those are the only two you have to do. But if you want to go back and measure the other stuff using your paper, if you made it, then by all means go for it, okay? All right, so remember you're doing 11 and 12. You also have an exit ticket today. So make sure you do that also. You will probably need a little strip of paper. Now what I did is I just colored every other one so I could easily see each one. I can tell there's no gaps in my strip of paper and none of them are overlapping. So this is a good way to use it to measure it. I would make mine a lot longer if I were you, okay? So I only have like nine on mine. You need to make yours a lot longer. So remember each line on a piece of paper is the same as one little centimeter cube and it's not, get. there's no gaps, there's no overlapping and I can easily line up my endpoints when I'm measuring, okay? All right, guys, I will see you on lesson five. So that means I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.